So what Rise has been doing so well tonight, aside from getting the power weapons, right? That's going to be one of the main talking points as we do head into that map. Another thing they've been doing great on, and they really excelled versus Hive, was their ability to be able to take control of the first points, the first, what, 20 or 30 points of the hill. And they pretty much got that uncontested because they were able to rotate <laughs> over for free. They got there. They looked solid. They locked it in. But then at that point, Hive would fight back, but they would be fighting and they wouldn't be getting the full value of the points left in there because they were constantly trying to push Rise back. Elevate, they've got to strike first, they've got to try and stop Rise from getting those early points. But that's a great start. Look at that detox off the rip with Demise. We're going to see three players drop off that slain power from Elevate that's been so great time in and time out in the matches versus E United as well as their match versus Vanquish. It's coming to the forefront, but Avexis does have the embark. Yeah, Vexis has the M-Bar, but Detox has that boom, and Elevate also has Naze. They have all the explosive weapons down low as they're going to be locking in this middle hill. Now, let's see how well they can hold it. Detox playing his life, going to make sure nobody can kind of flank them around Spawn. His teammates need to just keep players marked at all times so they can understand a perfect move. Trying to time this boom just right. Rushy dodges the nade, but he needs to be aware of the boom shot top ramp. Now, Fran's going to get hit with it first. He's trying to notify Icy, but in the end, it's not going to make a difference. Those three members of Rise being taken out, but Vex, he's with the M-Bar in hand, trying to pinch from down low at the same time. He's going to fall. It's going to fall indeed. Okay, well, here we are. Great start for Elevate. Probably the strongest start we have seen any team have when they play this Rise roster on this very map. So again, Rise, you pointed it out. They needed to start off strong. They needed that two. They needed at least two of these first three maps. But this is one of those maps that honestly, I would give a guarantee for Rise to take. But Elevate, they're looking to take that guarantee and say, look, we are here. We're 6-0 for a reason. And we're going to show you why, despite you not watching us on this map. But hey, We can see the mini Rise, map. Well, I was just going to say, they're finally getting points, finally. Yeah, finally, but let's see how how, how worth it's going to be. They're getting these kills, but I got, we got M-Bar in five, we got Boom in five, but I was curious to see if the Naze was going to be there in that mix as well. Um, and actually, I think they're going to be on two-minute respawn timers. I'm not sure. I see them fluctuate here and there, but I, I'll get it down packed by the end of this map. Regardless of the fact that there's big power weapons coming up, folks, and M-Bar is going to be in the hands of Detox. Boom should be up momentarily. And let's see what can Elevate do with this. All right, let's see what they can do, right? That lead that they had, not as impressive anymore with Rise now, just trailing behind about uh, 16 points. So Detox looking to connect onto anybody he can. Misses the first shot, misses the second shot, but Rise is taking down his teammates literally right before him. The value Detox could have had there by getting or connecting any body shot or connecting a headshot could have been great. His teammates, they could have stayed alive, but because he missed and didn't get any value, well, you see Rise taking those points and taking the lead. All right. Now, we can just see the minimap one more time. I don't I mean to call out for it as much, but here we go. So big 90 seconds on Boom, Nades, and M-Bar. Now, we did see them all just get picked up, but I don't. we don't see those timers ticking down for whatever reason. Oh, that's a mishap there. That is a mishap. So look at it right there. And you're going to see right Elevate get up in there and cap this hill. Mm, and they definitely are going to take it, man. And Detox again with that M-Bar. I hope he connects because, again, these power weapons have so much value. But Elevate, again, what they're doing and they're capitalizing on that other teams failed to do against Rise before is they're rotating early, they're getting control of the hills, and that is beneficial. Despite the scoreline being as tight as it is, imagine if Elevate wasn't prioritizing rotation and prioritizing the new hills. Rise, their lead could have been even more drastic. But well done for Elevate to hold on to this hill. And they're going to get some valuable points. That's going to push them past 100. I think there's still about 20 or so seconds left on that hill. But you can already see the fight for the next hill taking place. Players 7 and 9, they've rotated over alongside that of Fran and Avexis from Rise. So let's see who wins this next fight. All right, then. So as you see, the remaining scrap time there at Fountain's Hill is going to be acquired there by Elevate currently. Sitting pretty here in this position. Rise has already rotated back up top to her statue hall. Getting set up for um, this heal. Um, they'll be able to get this next M-Bar coming off respawn as well. Elevate trying to break with two players from the top. But the question is, where the rest of the teammates at? Because at this point, you ask me, Demise and Shock need not <laughs> even <laughs> make an attempt at the heal if they don't have no other help. But they get focus fire by all four players of Rise. And they're like, you know what? We could have waited. 
Yeah, I'm really confused with what Tidy and Detox are doing. Like, they just stood there and didn't do anything. Like, they didn't help their team, assist their team. They were locking in mid for the rotation. Well, they were getting power I, weapons, right? Like, I, Mage and well, I guess up. that's true. I get you're 100% so, yeah. right on that. But so, but they sacrificed a lot of points to do so. But again, that's something we talked Your about. should have died. That's been, well, there you go. The Lancer fire was too great. But hey, getting those power weapons again are huge. That's something that the other teams weren't doing. And Detox does have the in bar again. And Shock has that boom. So maybe it is going to work out in the end. It's a short term lo uh, loss, but a long term gain at this point. Yeah, exactly. Now, as you see here, Elevate getting most of the time here on top of this hill. Beautiful shot there from Detox. Gives his team a man advantage. Smoked out, but he sees Fran marked. He's going to get boom shot it. And Rise will not get any of remaining time here at Statue Hall. And his next heal is going to move towards the bottom left corner of your map down low here at Gold. And we see this is going to be a 1v1. Demise and Icy. And Demise knows exactly where Icy is. Icy has help. Fran will be next to him on the right. But Icy just has to have to do a great job playing off his left hand here. It's difficult because you see Tidy and Demise just chipping away at him. He goes down. Difficult fight here for Rushies. He's taken out as well. And gold is going to go over towards Elevate. And it's just going to lock in these points. And you see how they spread the map. They're blocking the top portion of the spawns. Trying to see if they can get a head count on all four Rise members down low. And they're going to do just that. Elevate. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's the connections we needed. Elevate won't win off this hill, but they're going to be close to it. Especially if Rise doesn't push through. Detox still will challenge onto a Vexies. He's going to have help from the side. No way a Vexies wins that. But for the fight in the hill, looks like player nine is going to stay up. And that's going to be Demise doing a great job holding his own. And uh, I see and uh, the, really the rest of Rise at this point. No reason to challenge this. I guess 30 seconds. Now you have to. You, you really do. You've got to try and take at least some scrap time away. But it's a lose-lose situation. You go for the scrap time. You take that. You don't give it to elevate. But then you allow them to rotate over for free. It's a tough spot. Power weapon for Boom, I think, is being fought for, though, between one and eight. How does Rise get out of this place? Because I don't see a, a way that they could. Well, they need to make sure that, one, they get the next set of power weapons that comes up whenever they come. Um, and they need to back up towards brochure and rotate early, right? Why they still have a chance to, because they've been kind of missing out on some of these rotations. Um, and Elevate's been beating them to the punch. And when you throw the power weapons in it as a factor as well, Rise just has not been able to get their footing. They are not controlling the pace of the map as well as we saw them against Hive. Elevate looking to remain undefeated here, folks. Just 20 more seconds needed. And with three players alive in his heel, it's going to be a 4v3 in Rise's favor. But the smokes, the flashes, they have to connect. Detox stepping up. And no man's land, and he wins a fight. And that's what I was about to point out. Icy had that boom, and he was pushing forward. He had a chance to pick up some big kills, and he did. So good job from him to be able to have that heads up play. But again, still so much work to be done. 12 seconds away from Elevate getting the victory over Rise. This will be the first time they've lost this map tonight. Tidy's going to go ahead and pick up that fresh M-Bar. The smoke is going to clear, and that means heads may roll. This push may very well be the final push of the game. Icy's going to fall. That's going to dampen the chances of Rice staying up. Rushies, he's going to be tagged. He can't challenge. He's full red, but he is going to get challenged regardless. Fran is going to be on the other side, and so is Avexi. Still enough time remains for Elevate to cap out on those last 12 seconds. Rice falls. Elevate takes the hill, and player two gets chunked. Plays. Map one is finished. Map one is finished indeed, man. Elevate Elevate says, yeah, you know, we ain't played much of, uh, you know, this map for the day, but it does not matter. We are not losing. That's seven straight maps here for Elevate. And then we about to go on over towards District at map number two. And when you put it that way, seven straight rounds, man. And for you guys who are just getting ca caught up in chat, man, Elevate have literally won seven straight rounds today. They have not dropped a single map at all this entire night. And that is impressive for, obviously for the fact that they're seven and oh, but the fact that this is a brand new game mode, they're playing on maps that, you know, they don't really have setups on, maybe they don't know the rotations on, but I mean, they're coming in, they're crisp, they know what they're doing, they're playing well as a team, and they are looking good. So on a fresh game mode with fresh maps to go seven and oh, mm -hmm. like, I didn't expect that. And, you know, especially on a map, right, where Rise just gave a master class on how to play 20. it against <laughs> the best team in a pro league. Okay, so Rise is really comfortable on Regency, but 
Elevate just proved to be too composed for them. They proved to be too much. And, they, you know, they knew they were locked in for uh for the long haul against Rice here on Regency because they were watching that matchup right before. But Elevate, they toughed it out. They won some big fights. They uh, managed to set the pace there towards the back end of the game, and they ran away with this one. So they remain undefeated here for the day. And um, Elevate, it's just going to get better week in and week out because even though this is an escalation, the teamwork that they're building from playing in today's E-Day on control, they can take that um, throughout next week and, and whatever tournaments they're playing in. All right. So as we head into District, another map that Rise hasn't lost tonight, but again, they didn't lose Regency. And, and to be honest with you, Elevate was doing a great job in those team fights, something that Rise has been doing a good job against, you know, Pittsburgh Knights and Hive. So that gives me good confidence at Elevate. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of good going for them. And I love the fact that they did battle for the power weapon, something teams were desperately lacking to do. They were also prioritizing those rotations. You know, when it comes down to control, there's a lot of elements that you have to master and lock in in order to win a map, right? It's not just simple to win your gunfights. It's not as simple as just to break those hills. You have to keep, like you, you're even keeping your timer out once again, right? For the weapon spawns, right? It's incredibly important that you keep an eye out for all of this. Um, but Elevate is, is, is doing it right. If they go 9-0 and tonight, man, I'm going to be very, very impressed. But Rise, they're not going to go down without a fight again. District is one of those maps to do very, very well on. Are there any takeaways from Rise in that last map maybe they need to capitalize on, improve on? Or do you think, man, Elevate just, they have their number? Uh, you know what? As I will say that Rise just needs to rotate a little bit earlier for some of these heals, but you know that's something that they know that they need to do. They won't keep beating a dead horse for too long on some of the battles in which they were in. Um, Elevate, they, they won some big fights, man, and they kept Rise staggered, okay? Mm -hmm. Rise just has to play a lot more discipline um, than they have in, in the final few mount maps that they did against Hive there. But regardless of, Rise have played 11 maps a day so far in this tournament. Yes, they, they have. They have a lot of reps, okay? <laughs> they, and this is Hive's, not Hive, but Elevate's seven maps that they have played, so... Rise got a few more under their belt. They should be warm. They should be ready to go. Um, but Elevate has just been winning their gunfights. They've winning their gunfights, and they've been setting the pace of uh, of these maps. And District has been, you know, a map that we saw rise today, and they look really good, right? They was like, yeah. all right, this this could be their best map out of the five. Um, hell, even a map in which they love when they're playing Escalation. But Elevate, man, the way that they've been playing is looking like they're going to be flawless throughout the day. They might very well be. Actually, let me let me take a quick look at my notes. I want to see the closest match that they've had as of yet. So it was uh, versus uh, no, it was versus VQ, and it was two fit. Yeah, they actually had a really close one. Foundation versus VQ, two fifty to two forty one. But the rest for the rest of them, the closest one from there is two hundred. Then everything else is uh, is below the uh, the one hundred and sixty point marks. So that just comes to show you how dominant they really are. But again, Rice. Whether it be Escalation or be here on Control, they love this map. Let's see if they can start off strong. Already getting those early points. Also winning the fight in the neutral positions. We're going to see two players drop off from Elevate. Rise has dominant control over mid portion. Player one and two, though. Detox and Shock looking to change that. But Detox is gone, and Shock is about to be challenged along with the Mize. Yes, he is. And Reshi steps in, connects on two shocks with... On, on, connects with two shots on the shot, but you see the Lancer support coming in. Player three there in the corner, tidy there, has his back. Elevate will continue to rack up points off of this hill. And Rise spawning in several different portions of the map, but most of their spawns is coming in from Top Cinema, so they'll be able to uh, approach this fight downhill. And with that's a beautiful double nade there from Icy. Brandy's to stay alive. Whoa, can't go that way though. <laughs> but good awareness for him not to run through those flames, protects his life. Rye should be able to get the rest of the scrap time off this hill. Should be able to indeed. And Elevate knows this. You can see on the minimap, they're breaking off. They're starting to disperse, spread apart, and just try and head over for that next fresh hill. Detox going to be at the forefront here. It's going to easily clean up rush. He's going to be great for Elevate. As uh, Rise, again, you know Elevate isn't going to push you. And I've seen team, time in and time out of teams doing this. Just leave player six there. And then everybody else rotate off. Bit late to the party to do so. That's going to get valuable time over towards Elevate. And more time for them to set up and rotate around the map. Anytime you know you're not being pressured and, you know, in control, just the same as Hardpoint, rotate off, leave one player there to get that scrap time and let the rest of your team do the work. All right, so... 50 points in this heel elevate 
with an early rotation. They're going to get the lead change. They got players watching both ATM and Pergola. Shock knows that he's in a 1v2, so he's going to do his best to get an early down. Now the cleanup is there, and that's a beautiful fight for him to be able to take out IC. France breathing down his neck at this point, but if Shock can get his health regen back, he'll be back in this mix. Fran did a good job working that right hand, just staying aggressive, not allowing him to fully get his health back. Now he'll have a flank on top of the hill, but Demise uses that nade to oh. cut off the pursuit, but it won't be enough. They did take down one, so he did a, a pretty pretty good job to say the least. Rushes with the torque bow connects on the detox, and it looks like Rai's gonna go ahead and leave player eight behind. Very well done. And now they're rotating out, but they know they have to. Elevate is setting up and wolf packing together. So it's gonna be a tough fight for anyone. And a Vex, he's any trade he gets gonna be beneficial, but he ends up falling to the wayside, and franchise might be the same way very shortly. Elevate's doing a great job. A great job at prioritizing these rotations and uh, overall just wolf packing together. And this is going to be a tough hill to take, but that torque boy is going to help. For Tidy already falling off is and demise as well. Rise, you have to push in. So as we can see, even though you don't see the ring kind of pushing through the top of the stairs, Fran can counter by just sitting at the top of that ledge, which is, which is a really common spot in this fight and, and regular king of the hill. But in order to get control of these lower hills, you got to push up and take your opponent off of that power position and kind of get some spawn control. I think it's better to have spawn control off of these hills than try to force your opponent across and force them to kind of play down low from bandstand to contest it versus them coming from the top side of spawn. But Rise, they can't get in there. They are slaying out. This one right here is more of a scrap time heal. Man, Avexis has been deadly accurate with that torque bow. He has connect just every about weapon. every single bolt that he has sent flying through the air from that torque. Well done from him. He got maximum value. And uh, Elevate hurts from that. You know, any member you lose, right, that's just putting you... What? I don't even know what just happened there. It looked like Shock was running past Fran, and then he doubles back after getting full red and still takes Fran down. Weird fight. Looks like Shock is going to go for that scrap time, something you don't see too often, and he's going to pay for it. But now I do believe because he dies, he's actually going to respawn closer to his teammates. So maybe that was a five head move. Nah, you know, uh, you just don't chase Shock. You just don't chase him. That's it. You know, he says, if somebody's going to chase me, I'm going to turn around, hit you with a 180, try to take one to the grave rather than dying with my back turned towards you. That's just his type of play style. Now, his teammates did get across towards for goal and get set up here. These are the money hills on the map. The top left and right hand corner of your map. Oh, Elevate doing a good job holding off, but Rise do a better job cleaning them up there. Um, so good effort to them. Rise is going to back up, get set up in spawn. They're getting some pressure here from Juice, but they need to watch out because Detox has a flank. And they don't know that Detox also has help from Demise. They're looking for these last two, but they're going to find them now. Yes, they definitely are. I see challenged by Demise. Great kill. Takes him down. Rise has accumulated a decent lead at this point, so Detox getting this break is going to be important. And uh, what, about 40 seconds remain on this hill, so it's going to be a decent amount of time to get at least you know, close if they can to Rise, close out that deficit. But uh, at this point, Rise, they got to make a decision. Do we push forward or do we hang back? And hanging back is absolutely the right call. And Elevate has to see this, recognize it, respect it, and start pushing out to take control of the next hill themselves. Rise is playing the game that they are very comfortable with, and that is constantly rotating, being on the first ones on the hills, setting up defensively. And uh, Elevate's done a good job up until this point for reacting to it. But it is that mid hard point. Excuse me. It is that mid hill. So with that being said, Blaze, it's, it's not really going to be anybody's time to control it. This is all about setting up for the next one. Yeah, and Rise, we, as we saw, did that about 20 seconds ago. But they are not the team currently getting points in this hill. Even though they got set up early, Elevate won the fights in which they needed. They're getting points. And, you know, if, if you are a squad that, that sets up as early as early as Rise did and you really don't get no points off of that, it's kind of demoralizing. Now, in the back of your head, you know that this is going to be a scrappy hill. But you want to be able to win that first team fight. It's a big reason of why you leave the last hill and get set up early, right? So mm. you can get into those engagements, but sometimes it just don't go your way. And we see how resilient Elevate is. 
And again, I want Elevate to now prioritize his rotation. Same thing with Rise. This is going to be big for them. Mid hill, I'm actually impressed that Elevate has gathered so many points off of a hill that honestly should be more of a battle. But hey, here they are. They've caught up. They took the lead. Rise is going to be able to take that lead once again, especially with Tidy with a bit of a miss roll. But now, Elevate, set up for the next one. Get that money hill locked in and start earning those points because Rise, they're coming at your neck and they are looking to take over the round. Couple more seconds remain, Blaze. What's going to happen on this next one? It looks like Elevate's good to go. Um, so that's what it's looking like as we are going to be moving um, towards bottom arcade. It's currently a 1v1 down here. Now, Elevate do have a few players in the spawn. Rise is trying to prioritize the first, but you see how weak Detox is. He's going to get called out. I don't know if Rushies can get a bull over on that side of the map, but he can bull his team as they try to run down to the hill. Shock may try to be aggressive on Rushies and die for the play. Because he's not going to let his teammates get shot for free here. Calling for help. Dodging bows. Rushies got three bullets left in his shotgun here. I don't know if he knows it. Hey, he trades. That's all that matters. Demise trying to get a trade himself. Vexies, though, just peppering him up, not making his life easy whatsoever. That keeps him out of the game and gives more time for Rise to have some more manpower. But Demise wins that fight. It was a huge battle for him to take. But, man, out of the fire into the frying pan, he goes into another player from Rise, takes one down, gets traded off. Detox will take his place. Got to get Rushies off of there. He's keeping that hill decap, but that's a great spread, and Rushies gets the finish. Oh, I hate those over the cover fights, man. It's such a 50 50, <laughs> at least for me and my skill level. It's more like a 30 70. Um, I am not good at that one. But you see, Rushies, man, he was able to land a shot over the top. But Shock lands his shot over the top as well. He is a little bit flashier, but he's going to be able to stay composed, trying to get, to get some damage in on his player. His teammate will clean him up. Is he connect with the toe? Oh. He does. What? He's like, Rushies, I'm, I'm back, bro. Where you going? I'm catching you off respawn. Ooh, I thought that I'm shot was a little bit too late. Oh, my goodness. Well, one more to his name. And uh, that's going to help a lot, especially if Ryze is sending a whole bunch of... No oh, you did mm. not. That is just beautiful. Elevate is feeling good here. They're going to get their early rotation over towards ATM. They got four players on this side of the map. They're going to have a full setup. It's going to be up to Rise to get in a position. At this point, they're talking about which lane do they want to break through? Do they want, do they want, do they want to get to Info? Do they want to get to Hotel, to ATM? And as we can see, they could do a three-man push towards the center. But I personally like, if you can get a guy down Hotel just to play that side of the map and be able to have a different angle in which you can approach from is nice. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to send Rushies down there. Icy has mid-map, and here comes Fran and the Vexies at the top, baiting out some nades, and now is the time to do so. The lead has already changed. Detox forced to get out. A Vexies well-placed incendiary grenades. He's going to win a big fight. Flushing out the members of Elevate, but he needs some help. The Lancer fire coming from down low hotel is not going to be enough. Fran loses his life, but to protect the Vexies, I think it was worth it. He gets another kill. Lastly, it's Rushies alive. Big 1v1. It won't be a 1v1 for long if he doesn't spring into action now. As Shock knows that, he backs up to get some help from Demise. Man, this is a big battle for Rise. Stay alive in this match. Still enough time remains on that hill for Elevate to take this at the 250 mark. That's a great start. Tidy will fall. He's going to try to push it now onto Shock. Hill is going to be decapped for the time being. Shock dancing around. Can't make it happen. That's three down. So he'll be coming back into the mix. Demise, though, is going to also drop. Shock is still back up because Demise got the pickup. And you don't want Shock to be still in this fight, right? He can oh. make some magic happen. I cannot he believe die. he got a trade. He I almost got a double. He, got a trade. he that almost is got a double there. That cannot happen. And now Rise will be able to rotate off this hill with a little bit of extra time left. This is a big fight. Avexis cannot die with Torque one hand. He's getting crossed out. Demise is going to take him out. But that's one advantage Rise wish they had here in this uh, what could be the last heal to either squad unless it really is neck and neck and nullified in a consistent fight. One team will win off of this, Taylor. I, I know. I don't know who it's well. I think I got a bit, bit of a clear cut answer at this point because for a moment it was back and forth and it was looking like rise, but everywhere you go now, he'll feed lighting up blue. Final couple of points coming into play. Rushies might get a touch here, but no, just a bit too short. But uh, with all that being said, yeah, Elevate takes it, what, eight in a row at this point in time. 
But uh, no one can dispute the fact that that was just a great map to watch. Oh, it was a great map to watch indeed, man. Big plays across the board um, from this entire Elevate roster. You see Shock at the top, 28 eliminations at the top of the board. Man, for his spot. You saw him make some big plays there. But, you know, in the end, you see Elevate, they got it done, and they remain undefeated. Absolutely, man. Even making your mic go out, brother. That action was intense, man. I'm telling you, it's getting hot, Blaze. And look, all I know, Rice put up a great fight there all the way till the very end. And it comes down to that point, not the last hill, but the second to the last hill, Blaze, right? Where they're fighting for yeah. it. They're going for it. If Rise wins a couple of big fights there, Blaze, Rice takes that round without question. It came down to Elevate having to hold their own defensively. The fact that Shock stayed up as long as he did as well, keeping those points at bay, just taking, getting even that trade, not having that additional Rise member to push up for that final hill. Like all these things add up, they stack, they make a huge difference. But without question, I am so impressed with uh, with Elevate and the way that they continue to play. Shock's Torque Bows, Avexi's Torque Bows in the beginning too. Let's not forget about him, even though it was a while ago. Like, that connects? I don't even know. That that literally caught onto his big toe. It truly did, man. Right off the right off the back of that hill there. And that was a huge play for Shock, man. Um, you know, that was a huge play for Shock getting that double kill. And it, it uh, you know, it ultimately led to their setup across map at ATM, where they were able to put themselves in a winning position. But Shock is so difficult to kill, man. This entire Elevate roster just gets better day in and day out. And the, yeah, the, 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 just the fact that he stayed alive in that one fight was just, I don't even know. Nexus is going to be up next. And at this point, Elevate is looking to have a flawless night 9-0 unless Rise. Now, now, granted, let me let me take a step back because you already know what I'm going to say, Blaze. Rise has been in this situation in literally all their series tonight, okay? Series number one versus Pittsburgh Knights. Series number two versus Hive. And, uh, well, now they're in the same situation versus Elevate. But this is where Rise has been coming back. Right, Rise has historically been down 2-0 and all of a sudden wins a map number five. But Elevate, they're a bit of a different beast. And I can say that with confidence. They really are a different beast and on a different level. Yeah, man. Um, we saw Rise make two reverse sweeps tonight. Okay? That's on one hand. And we've seen Elevate win eight maps in a row. Is their time up? Is that, is that run done? Can they make it nine? Can they go perfect with that pressure? Now, we already saw that they could not handle the pressure of going perfect in the pro, in the pro league. But tonight, <laughs> can they handle the pressure to go 9-0? and Rise, they do have that comeback potential. We're going to Nexus. At the end, it's Foundation and Asylum. It's two maps in which they're familiar with. And I think at this moment, since Rise have already came back twice, they're about to turn up to another level as we approach Nexus. And I don't think, uh, you know, I, I think Elevate... I'm betting on a side that Elevate goes 9-0, all right? Well, it's going to be difficult because Rise is about to get everything that they got, all right? I'm pretty sure Vexes does not want to lose against his old teammates there. <laughs> no. And Detox and Shock, and, and Rise wants to walk away with this one. But as we've seen, man, Elevate has just proven to be too much for all the competition of this. Well, now Rise is heading into Nexus. I'm going to keep the same narrative that I had, not on District necessarily, because I knew that was going to be relatively close with how well Elevate played against VQ on District. But at least for map number one, same narrative stays the same uh, on, as Regency as we have head over now to Nexus. The fact that this is a map, again, that they have not lost on. They've been playing very well on. The rotations are on point. They know all the cheese angles, and they take them. All right, look, gentlemen's agreement or not, they're going to take them because they want the victory and well played. I hold nothing against them. You got to get the W at the end of the day and do what you need to do. So coming into it, another map that we have not seen from Elevate, much like Regency, so there's a lot of unknowns. There really are. If you're a betting man, you say Elevate's going to win this and win 9-0. That's just it, nothing against Rise. That's just the way Elevate's been playing, right? But again, will Rise win this map? There's a huge possibility they do. Is there a huge possibility to sit at the map five? Absolutely. They've been doing it all night. Why can't they do it now? Chad, I'll leave it to you to let me know, right? Is it a possibility? Rise does it once again, keeping things interesting. And maybe they're doing it on purpose. You know, maybe they are doing it on purpose. But we got our time torch cam and elevate. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but you guys need to get it together. I understand your eight no, right? We we've been loving watching you all night. Where, where's your fourth? What's going on here? <laughs> you know, after two maps, typically, you know, it is a technical timeout. All right. 
Uh, it, 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 you know, throughout most esports, you know, two maps out the way, we got a commercial break, right? Um, so, you know, that's probably what the boys are used to. But hopefully they get back, okay? They get back, they get in here, and um, they get locked in here for this series so they can play a map number three because they got to be go. strapping themselves in. They might have to go the distance, right? <laughs> they might have to go the distance against Might Rye, have to. So, um, they got to re replenish, rehydrate. Drain the vein and do whatever they got to do to get locked in here and bring the pain. Yep, right? absolutely. Well, while I do have a little bit of time for you guys out there, I know you've been enjoying watching this, and uh, I, I know you're going to have a fun time playing Control. I really do. And if you think you have what it takes to compete against some of the best when it comes to Control, maybe you just want to see how good you are, hey, check it out. Go to umggaming.com and you'll have your chance to play Control. We're going to be adding that onto the website, and I cannot wait to see the activity we get there. Actually, it's already out there from what I'm hearing. So go play it. Get out there. Try it out. Play against some of the best. See if you are the best. Maybe you have a good grasp. Maybe you learned some secrets, right, from the night. It's been a long broadcast, and uh, there's been a lot of matches, and that's going to give you the leg up if you've been taking your notes, okay? UMGGaming.com. Check it out. Let's get into this final match. I just, I just want to know. The high boys going to have to let me know. Are we changing... Uh, you know, King of the Hill and Elo Ace to control. You know, that's a question to be had. That's another way to get some practice, hell. And okay. um, for all these people to, you know, kind of really spice up Elo Ace a bit. Because I've been loving control all day, and it showcases a lot of teamwork in the size of these hills. Now, we're seeing off the kickoff, Rise has got in control over top ritual. And they are making sure that they utilize shooting through those parts, keeping players marked, and uh, making it very difficult for Elevate to get this heal. And great usage of the nades from Rise. Phenomenal usage of. They do take that 38 plus lead. They're going to continue to gather those points. And. Uh, Rice, looking great. You know, this is one of the most solid starts we've seen from them as of yet. District, I think they had a good start too. So let me actually take that back. But regardless, this is uh, a great thing for Rise and Rice fans out there as Elevate looks to kind of push them back and continue to battle for this mid positioning. And uh, turns out you can shoot through that, right? So Fran is going to go down. Detox takes him out. Icy will also trade off and take down Detox. Meanwhile, the rotation is here. we got a bit of a mismatch. 3v2 players on both ends are going to drop off. Rushies trying to stay up on his own, heading down steps, come back up for the engagement, but he's being chased. He's running away. And now if you're elevated, if you continue to chase that, you're going to get Lancer down. All right, now over here towards Corp, so you see Elevate set up. Awesome, multiple angles. Got to back up though. They got three players arise in front of them, but you see two members going down. This is a hard hill to hold, and Rise have figured out all the angles to get damage on these players safely. That was a beautiful double down from them to get in, break the setup, and they wasted no time pushing out, controlling top top stairs of the cog spawn, because they know that their opponent is going to focus on this area of the map, possibly break that hill there at, at the port circle. Man, Rice, this is the map, and this is the start of a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it now. Detox trying to get that break in. De oh, Fran takes him right out. Okay, they're starting to wake up a little bit. I don't know what it is about going down 2-0, but it just gives them that, that extra oomph to be able to push forward. Vex is to get the chunk onto another. That's going to be shock. And uh, Rise will absolutely take control of the second hill for the second time. Man, are we going to be looking at another 250 to 20? I don't think so. I'm getting carried away, but I like to have fun. Yeah, man. We're, we're Elevate already having 15 points. Now, you tell me from this moment on, folks, they don't get another five. I would have bet my whole bank account on it. I would have bet my house. They all love it. All right. Surely. They break. They get five more. Surely they do. Now, look at that rise is set up. They're in a good spot. They have to take Demise out. And this is a big play from Demise going this far back in spawn, right? Using his smoke, forcing players to have to come to him. But by doing that, he stand out the defense is on the actual hill. Gave his team a chance to break through. They just wasn't able to. Icy already set up in that fresh hill, but he's going to have some company off to his right. I think he's about to be blindsided, but he does spot him. Rushies will push in to help out Icy. They're going to clean him up, handle their business. 
That's going to be Demise Detox falling behind as Rice continues to gather that lead. Looking impressive. Over the past three hills, Elevate's only got 16 points. And as of uh, this last hill, they've only gathered one point from literally yeah. getting a touch. So Rise is doing a great job at reading them, shutting them down, going. Oh, you got to go through that choke point. Come on, man. It's going to be tough. The good utility of Xyz. Friend going up there, cleans them up, puts them into the blender. Tidy last one up. <laughs> at this point, I'm convinced like Rise don't don't like it easy. Like they don't like quick <laughs> series. Make it inter I told you. They don't, like, they don't like three O in people, right? They don't like the two O's in a pro league. It has to go map five. It has to go round nine. It has to go two hundred to two hundred for them to really like get locked in. Because the way that they're playing now is like, where the hell was this the first two maps? <laughs> Beautiful start. So let's 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 wait here because Rise got to close it out. They were about to break the two hundred point mark, and I said surely. Elevate gets over the 20, 20 mark, and they're going to finally do it now. All right, so, so they get 50 then is what, what you're saying, okay? <laughs> At this point, Elevate, they got the hill, but Rise is there to fight them back. They're there to take them down. Demise, though, Torque going hand. He's put into great use, and now we're seeing Elevate start to heat up. Now, it's funny they're doing it on this hill, given the fact it's one of the hardest hills to lock down, but hey, it's a hill, it's a start. I'll take it. They'll take it to the bank as well. Vex, he's looking at the wall of Elevate members just ahead of him, but he's not really going to go anywhere. As long as he can keep this hill decap, that's all that matters. 30 seconds remains this next fight. Whoever ends up dropping off here is going to go for the rotate to the next hill. All right, so big kills here from the entire Elevate team. And this hill moves from um, this, uh, this temple location towards the top right-hand corner of the map. And we call that one pools. It's going to be on top of the uh, where the grenades normally respawn on this map. And as we see, Rise is set up, but Elevate, they quickly doubled back and got control of the cog spawn, top of the stairs. And because they got this position locked in, it, it's, the, it's definitely the best one to contest against this hill. Rise is having a difficult time holding this. Um, and at some point, he may have to push up and start the fight rather than being reactive to the fight. Best way to put it, right? Best way to put it. And I got to say again, I am very impressed with Rise to be able to just rotate. Good map awareness, good objective awareness overall. They're getting that very, very close to the 250 point mark. Vexy's just looking to shoot fish in a barrel. Tidy will end up falling to the wayside. And uh, Elevate still has another long journey ahead of them to get this break. Rise can shut down these final couple of members from Elevate off of this uh, next attempt, next retake attempt. It's over with, and we're going to a map number four. Yeah, oh boy, look at the score. Rise got this map locked in the bag, Taylor. Elevate, trying to push in. They know that they have to contest. They have to fight. The big hill for them to win. I see another 2v1 this time. He can't win it. Elevate, grabbing points now. 25 points left in this hill. Yep. They'll make they'll make that 100 point marker, unless Rise wants to be that petty. But at that point, it's a bad move, right? You got to move down low towards the bottom left hand corner of the map, get set up at lamp, and, and just hold off. They are doing it. Okay, so they keep it decap. He didn't want to and, and that's more annoying than anything, man. You know, keeping that decap at that point, you already know, like, man, just give us a couple more points. Like, you don't have to challenge this hill. We'll worry about the next one, okay? Well, Elevate is going to be there. They already rotated over. And uh, like you said, Rise, they don't like to make it easy on themselves. And, well, they're not making it easy on themselves here either. Rise should have had three members on this hill literally 30 seconds to go. I agree, now, but they, I wasn't they got petty. Yeah, right? You know, even though I saw Rushies go to break the hill, I didn't think all members kind of went towards the hill there. But you see top of the stairs of the of the swarm spawn being held by Elevate, and they learned their lesson this time around, understanding how they can defend the both hills from having this position, and they'll rather fight their opponent with them approaching this hill from mid-map um, rather than spawning off, the, off towards the side. So good job to Elevate right now. They're exactly where they want to be with 30 seconds left in the hill. And I do believe the hills reset after this one. We're going back towards the top of the map at Ritual. And that's going to be the biggest test for Elevate, if not now, which Rise is getting this break. So we might not get to that point. I don't think we will. Final member up for Elevate is going to be just on the other side of this cover. 
Plenty of time remains. Tidy goes down, Rise gaining those points, and that should be it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Elevate's going to be able to get that touch, and no, they will not. So Rise 250 to 138, and uh, here comes the come up that we have been seeing. Time in and time out, please. Yes, it is. Now, in our, in our pregame, you know, we kind of foresaw this a little bit, right? We wasn't expecting Rise to get stomped on Regency um, and their best map district, but on the flip end, they did manage to take one of the first three maps, you guys, okay? So that's good for Rise. Our last two maps in this series are going to be two that both these squads are super familiar with. That's Asylum and Foundation. Yep. So it's going to be regardless of who comes out on top and win, I, for one, hope that we get a map number five at this point. But also... I just want to see some great ass gameplay and I, and I think foundation asylum is going to deliver just that with these two teams 100 percent. we'll find out will rise be able to learn from their mistakes these are two maps they've lost on earlier but hey they've liked to keep things interesting let us know keep the conversation going in chat we'll be right back with map number four right after this Welcome back, everybody, to Emergence Days, our special control tournament well underway in Grand Finals. We're heading into map number four, Foundation, between uh, the two finalists of Elevate and Rise. It's been a great series so far. It's encouraging that Rise was able to answer back, give Elevate their first map loss of the night. Up until this point, they were 8-0. and oh. They will not reach the coveted 9-0, and oh, but they still have a shot to win Grand Finals as they do lead currently in this in this best of five finals, five or excuse me, two to one. So possibilities absolutely there. Man, Rise did a lot of good during that last map blaze. Uh, they looked impressive. They were rotating early on. What are some key highlights from them? Um, some key highlights from Rise in that last map is that they made sure that, um, that they were able to control a lot of the power positions in which the teams want to be in to get big majority points on the hill. Like, so for example, a lot on those side hills, Rise made sure they prioritized the top stairs in both sides of the spawn. Um, when it was Ritual, they made sure that they got deep into where Boomshot spawns on that top hill. Down low in the middle, that was more scrappier hill of them all. And that was the hill in which Elevate kind of started to come back into the, into, uh, into Nexus. But ultimately when we got back towards those, towards those corner hills on that map, Rise dominated, they took control. And we're about to see if they can perform their third reverse sweep of the night. Because every series, they were down 2-0, and they came back. Elevate won eight straight maps in a row. But is that it? Is it over? Yeah. Can they close it out? Woo. Hi, hey, man. At this point, who knows? Rise, again, likes to keep things interesting and has been interesting. Again, in all their series, they've been down 2-0, managed to come back with the reverse sweep. Possibilities absolutely there. They're only one round away from sending it to a map five where Elevate's going to be sweating bullets, and so am I, because who knows who's going to win this first tournament for control. But I will say this, for Rise, they have lost foundation in the past, and that was too high, 250 to 180. So uh, we do know that Rise can bleed on this map. And the last map, Nexus, we didn't see that from Elevate. We didn't know how good they were on it. Maybe it was a fluke that they ended up losing because they're not as familiar, but now they're back in the familiar territory, and it's scary for Rise, but hey... Elevate, they're now leading the way. They've got control of the hill, and Demise is like deep and behind enemy lines, man. Yeah, he is, and he started off towards that statue to kick the game off, because let's not forget, there's a twerk boat that spawns on that side of the map, so you got to put a body there, try to get the power weapons that are spawning towards mid-map and at the bottom portion of statue before you can test this hill. Now, Elevate, they got a big portion of that time, even with Demise being on the other side of the map. The 3v3 fight was one on top of the hill, and they'll be able to contest with all four players now. But look how composed the Vex he is behind his cover, getting downs. His teammates are cleaning up the kills, and he's back in the engagement. And from, from Narnia, he gets that down on Tidy. The cleanup is there. Rap shot's not coming through, but his movement is going to keep him alive there in that situation. And Ryze gets the rest of the scrap time. Be rotating over demise nice kill onto a vexies and that's going to put him over to statue to challenge onto i believe that's going to be rushy so lancer down demise got to get some coverage i'll oh, get out of there he does okay just in the nick of time Toddy was there for the pickup regardless uh but it's going to be a tough hill for rise to keep locked in but i don't know man i say that rushy's is really going for it he's going for the cleanup onto tidy shock now is by himself yeah now nah, he's by himself here indeed now with him being trapped in this corner 
he needs to wait for teammates any way that he can. Just be a nuisance because if he can draw two players towards him, his team will have a man advantage elsewhere on the map. Now, Tidy finally falls, but his teammates did try to find his advantage on Icy. Icy just did a fantastic job at disengaging, keeping the torque bow in hand. But now this is where his team needs him to start connecting with some of those bows. And he goes into this fight with a shotgun out. He might be regretting it in this moment, but he can't back out. He has to commit to it. And now those three extra shots of the torque bow will be null and void. And that's a three piece there for Elevate. They know where Fran is too. Ooh, Detox is going to challenge us with the M-Bar in hand. Bit of a risky play. Of course, we know Detox and the M-Bar could very well change the course of the hole, but he just got baited into shock. That was a beautiful play. No way Fran knew he was coming there, but to be fair, it was a tough spot for Fran to be in. But Rise takes this advantage to, or at least takes this time to set up defensively. So these early picks from Detox with the M-Bar is going to be important because, like you said before, the torque boat's out of the way, right? So he's going to need to get a pick here to give the man advantage or at least make the man or at least make it even in the fight, right? 3v3 for mm -hmm. Elevate. Now, Detox got five shots in his M bar. Him and his squad will be spawn side. Ryze has the perfect setup that they want. All right, they're ready for a push from any different angle, but player number four, Tidy, he's like, we got a lot of time, 65 seconds. I'm about to take the wide angle. He's gonna get a mark there on Icy down low. Tidy and Demise, they got a tall task there on low that pisses the way that fight. All right, Detox, can you take a head off? Well, you can, I guess, if no one's giving their head. He'll still get that body shot into a Vexes. He's getting angry now. <laughs> he's just firing out. He He's so frustrated, and I get it, man. But Tidy down low, he needs to win these fights. But you can't expect him. It's a tough spot to be in. If he gets it, okay, good. But, you know, again, it's just one of those things where it's just going to be incredibly difficult. Rise will take that lead once again, and uh, they'll go ahead and start rotating over for the Fresh Hill. Elevate should have took this time 20 seconds to go ahead and get over there, cut your losses, and recover on that next hill. But they don't. They'll be a little bit behind, but they're still going to be able to challenge. But I see he connects on the one. It's going to be tough. Boy, like right now, you see your opponent's getting points. It's 11 seconds. You know for a fact this is a 4v3, a 4v2. You got to get in this hill now while Rise is still getting points. You can't rotate and, and, and get locked into another setup. And so Elevate springs into action. They managed to get multiple kills on the hill, and that was perfectly executed. Now they have to return a favor to Rise. Now we know when you set up on this hill, you don't keep players in pistons like you would fountains. You put them in a spawn so that they can watch center lane and they can watch uh, towards the top streets. Elevate now is in a perfect position. Let's see if they can get a whole 75 like Rise just did. Mm, definitely would put them ahead of the game, wouldn't it? Tidy. He's going to be sitting pretty with that torque bow as well. And they look like they will get that full 75. Player six might come up ramps and be joined with player seven. So it's going to be Icy and Fran is going to be pushing up. And uh, but at this point, Blaze, do you just call it? Do you go for it? Well, they're going to go for it. I guess they have to at this point. Tidy needs to connect with the torque. He does it, but he does get that splash damage onto Icy. And now Tidy's going to try and get the finish onto a couple of others. Lancer fires coming from the side. Tidy goes in for a, cle a, a cleanup, but Fran tries to get away. He's gone. And you know what? Elevate may not get the full 75, but they got pretty close to it. Man, Tidy just, the, the way he's been dodging shots and I've been paying attention to his movement. You know, he, he's been juking out players here and there. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just impressive for me to see that from Tidy. And so, uh, you know, I want to continue to, uh, to see him improve as a Gears of War player, but Elevate. They uh, return the favor, right? They locked in most of that time, but this, uh, but this section around, they're gonna be moving down low towards the middle hill to get set up a little bit earlier, because the next two hills that we're about to have is gonna be um, bottom center and open and that statue, and these power weapons are gonna play a huge factor. Mm, okay, Vex is getting tagged up quite a bit. Tidy going in for the cleanup. They actually won't get it. Icy will connect with the torque and uh, we'll be challenged by Detox. And Detox understands, look, I need to get this guy out of the way, and he's gonna be successful in doing so. And uh, that's gonna open up the door to push it onto Fran, who gets ran through in a second as well. Oh my gosh, Detox is coming back with the vengeance. He wants to end it now. He's mad that perfect uh, record, man. Went to the wayside. Yeah, he most definitely is, but it's not over yet, Taylor. Enemy mark. That's a big fight, one by Elevate. 
They should get a, a lot of time off this hill now, if not the remaining time before Rise chooses to rotate. But I said, if it's 35 on this hill, you got to contest. You got to stay in here. You don't want your opponent to get towards 200 and you're still at 122. And uh, Rise is winning some key engagements here. They should be able to get the remaining 20 points if they can uh, take out Detox as soon as possible. They'll be in a good position to do just that. Now they got a player already rotated over to a statue. That's going to be Rushies. He's set enough for next, and this is exactly where Rise wants to be. 100%. This is their time to come back, send it to a final map on Asylum. That would be a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm here for it. I want to see a map five between these two great teams. And uh, you got to hold on to these hills, though. And Demise playing lights out. It's going to get one. Goes for the second. And despite the Lancer fire from Icy, Demise is fearless. He continues to pressure forward. Now he's going to drop. And Ryze will retake the hill. And the Torque Bow, one of the most important things, is going to be back in Rushy's hands. He's been playing so very well with the Torque. At this point in time, Ryze got a good positioning. And if they can continue to lock in these points, they're going to uh, totally get rid of that deficit, take the point lead once again, and get closer to 250 mark. This is a hill they need mm -hmm. to lock in. The money hills are coming up next. Player number one is flanking his detox. Ryze got the full 75 on Fountains. Elevate got the full 75 on Welding. This hill needs to be split. Elevate needs to get in there now, and they're doing just that. The fight is broken now. Rushies gets a torque bow kill. That stun was 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 bit, was really clutched there, but nobody from Elevate off the opposite end to get there behind Statue. Rise holds their ground. Who Fran catches Tidy on the way out. The torque bow is revving because they know a lot of players are going to be running towards fountains, but Shock is already going to be set up, and he has to keep Detox alive. But Detox at this point, he may die in this position. And I, I think he's okay with that, especially if he can take one to the grave. He tried. He really did. He got a Vexes to one shot. But like you said, he tried. It is what it is. Now you just got to stop these players. But that Lancer fire is so hard to get through. And the thing about it is, you know, a power weapon right there would have been hugely beneficial to get that extra chip damage. But because Elevate knows the power weapons are out of the way, they can afford to keep their head up and Lancer out without basically any repercussions. So good heads up play for them. Now on the other side though, Icy, he's gonna go ahead and uh, take down Demise with the frag and Detox is gonna stay here. And again, same situation as before. He picks up anybody, gets a trade, that's huge. Oh, that's that's really huge. Now it's a 4v3 for Rise and Rise knows it. So you're gonna see a few nades come out to elevate because they can feel the push coming. Shock's gonna try to take one out of this pack, but he cannot. The guy in the back was able to hold the line. Two members going down for elevate. Detox gets the M bar. The lead has changed, and it's two M bars. Actually, just the one M bar on the map. You saw Demise pushing up that ramp, but he didn't have no help, and I think he just needs to slow down a bit. Wait for the team to come through. Demise gets a spawn. And at this point, Elevated already identified that Rise cannot win off this hill any longer. No, they, yeah, Rise no, wins off can. this hill. No, they do win off this hill. Where the hell is player one it. going? I, I, he needs to definitely lock it in. I mean, it's a lot of faith into your teammates who's going yeah. into the blender. Oh, my Lord. Rise will take it off this hill. I don't think anybody was able to get the touch. They're going to lock it in. I can't see the time, but I'm pretty sure. And yes, they will. My, are you? Rise has the, the, been doing this all night, Blaze. All <laughs> night long. Surely not three series in a row, right? Surely <laughs> at not. Point, at this point, why not? Okay? At this uh, point, so why not? <laughs> I want to make a comment towards the end of that match. Um, you know, we see Elevate in this position where they have to break this last hill at Fountains, okay? Right. Detox gets the power weapon. He rotates it up towards the top of the spine. Briefly before that, Demise got a little bit too aggressive than he should have, but week seven second respawn, and he's behind his teammate there in detox. You got to see on a clock that you need a touch. Yes, you want to be able to rotate early to get the jump on your opponent, but you have to make sure that mathematically they cannot win off that hill. And right. from looking at from my remembrance of the mini map, I saw about two, three people break off as if they were about to rotate early. They were like, hold up, right. we lose yep. on this. That's you right. Know? So, Quick math. <laughs> Somebody on you know, their team just, they, you know, they didn't hit the number on the head. And so uh, going into this last map, which is Asylum, Elevate. They need not choke this one, but Rise is looking like they are the composed squad here um, when it comes down to, to this matchup. And Taylor, you were talking about earlier between these two teams who are the most consistent. Well, 
Rise consistently loves making comebacks today. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You know, that's the thing. I, I can't call him Mr. Consistency because, again, they always lose the first two maps. But VQ, when they were dominating split one, they were always losing map one or excuse me, round one of whatever map they were on. Right. So yeah. I don't know. Teams just have their weird quirks. Of course, Rise isn't purposely losing two maps in a row. But, uh, you know, when that pressure is on, um, they just feel good. Or maybe it's just the enemy team getting lax. You know, they're like, man, we got this. We're up 2-0. This is too easy. OK, it's a best of five. We're going to win this. No problem. And then, you know, they, they they get lackadaisical. And then all of a sudden, you know, Rai starts to take over. I don't think any of that's the case, to be honest with you guys. But with that being said, Asylum being the final map, another map that we have seen Rise lose in the past. But uh, things do get interesting because if you do remember that high versus rise matchup earlier, it was one of our most exciting. It finished 250 to 248. Rise just barely lost to Hive. They were looking so, so good up until the final couple of uh, moments where Hive was able to get a break and close it out with just a two point lead. So, man, at this point, it's literally anybody's ball game. But my question is, is Elevate going to mentally be able to stay in it? Because they go from being 8 and 0 oh to now being 8 and 2, one map away from losing it all after such a great performance earlier. They're definitely shaking. They're scared. Okay. <laughs> They've been watching the stream all day. I know they are. Okay. They got to be. Hey, yo, Chad, you, you looking at this Riot squad? You were a few points away from coming back in this one, and, and, and they once again pushed themselves to a map five. At, at this point, I'm, I'm convinced that this is part of Rise's practice this week, okay? Somebody gave them, gave them a plan to say, all right, guys, we're going down 0-2, okay? And we're going to work on our comebacks. We're going to stay composed. We're going to fight to the end. Now, granted, that's not something bad to work out on, okay, to work on as a unit stand in these series because – out of all the teams that are in our pro league, historically, the combination of players, this core three of Rise mm. being Icy, Rushies, and Fran, I think between the beginning, throughout Gears of War 5, hell, you can even say it in Gears of War 4, they have been to so many map threes, yeah. map fives, yep. round 13s, round sevens, round nines. Like they go to distance consecutive, consistently against top teams, but we usually see them come out on top. Regardless, if they're coming back, if somebody's coming back on them, they know how to weather these types of storms. And this is just another one on that list. And uh, if they pull this one off, you could just they can look <laughs> back today as a, as a unit and going into the major. They could be like, yo, you remember that one E-Day? When yeah, we were who yep, got to lose yep. every series and we came back? We can do that, okay? <sighs> uh, and so they need to make sure that they have this exact same energy um, during a major, and I'm pretty sure it will carry over because things, um, experiences like this that you go through with your team, you often have to look back and remind a squad like, hey, bro, we've done this before. Let's do it again. And let's get this cash. Absolutely true. And, you know, sometimes, right, it's 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 the lion at the bottom of the hill that's more hungry than the person at the top who's constantly eaten. And I think the person that's or the line that's been on the top is is elevated. I'm getting deep with it. OK, right now it is that deep plays mm -hmm. at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Rise, they're on the come up. They really have nothing to lose. They were already going to lose 3-0, right? So now they've sent it to map five. They put in the work. And even if they do lose this final map, which I'm not even setting it up that they do. Right. It's been amazing what they've been able to accomplish tonight, but they want it all. And honestly, they're in a position to take it all again. That match versus Hive on Asylum earlier in our semifinals, man, it, it literally came down to the wire. So take nothing for granted here. If you're an Elevate fan, Rise, they have performed on this map earlier. They can do it again. Oh, they could do it again indeed, Taylor. Folks, we are going to a map number five between these two teams. And it has just delivered throughout the entirety of this day, man. Let's strap ourselves in because this one is about to be crazy. It's going to be a bloodbath. It's about to be a damn E-Day massacre. Yeah, it absolutely is. Best way to put it, that pavilion circle. Well underway, or at least mid-circle, I should say, is in fact going to go to the hands of Rise. For the time being, we do see they are going to be at a slight deficit, but you know you don't gather the majority of your points from those type of hills, right? It's going to be about where the home hills are on the first half 
when it comes to escalation. That's where you want to be taking control, taking those money hills. And we'll see that a little bit later. But for the time being, I want to pay attention to Detox. He's got the long shot in. He's got a unique angle, and he's ready to pop some heads. I'm just curious who it's going to be. Fran, not today. <laughs> No, nah, not today. Not yet, at least. Uh, Fran's going to have to play this guy man on man because he knows he cannot let Detox freely snipe the squad. Elevate got off to a big lead to kick this one off, but it seems like Rise is only going to be about 11 points behind. This next hill rotates up top, and as we know, Detox is already in position. Quick headshot on Fran. Icy is going to be between him and his team will he let him get through because detox don't really want to fight he want to get to the other end of the map but little did he know detox's teammates um well they were they were approaching him but regardless of the fact i see big plays here now rise is going to be holding top entrance fresh east is going to put this botox to use Ooh, not for long though i'm gonna get taken down from demise Demise isn't going to stop there. Takes down Fran. Avexis will answer back. Pick up the meat shield. Use it to his own devices onto Detox. Big trades happening. This is just chaos at this point in time. And this is what we've gotten used to all night long when it comes to some of these hill fights. Shock now finding himself on the opposite end of Rise, who's looking three strong. Looking to pressure into him. But luckily, he's got some teammates behind him. He will get away. Shock's going to pick up that fresh long shot. But is it going to help? We'll definitely find out very shortly. The battle here for the hill. No one has been able to take control as of yet. Oh, man, it, it's really no one has gotten a single point. That was the first point, I believe, that came through for this hill, and it's in favor of Elevate. 45 seconds left in it. Rise definitely has to contest. We see three members of Elevate up top, one down low watching Middle Pavilion. Rise is approaching from all angles, but Rushies, the way his team is spread out, they're waiting for Fran to flank. He goes down to a nade. As soon as a member from Rise can... can kind of identify that they have a slight advantage. They need to make a play, and the Vexies is just trying to figure that out. Him and Icy going back and forth, but now at this point, they're getting pressured. Rise will be able to clean up the remaining few players. They spring into action, and, you know, for pride's sake, man, you cannot let Elevate get the rest of the time on that hill. And we're going to another center hill, by the way. So this should be um, a hill that will, that will be easy for Rise to get set up on. Um, transitioning from up top and it should be one of those 50 50 hills it, it, it should have been a 50 50 hill but like you said it was kind of one side it was it not i mean it was kind of 80 20 and favoring elevate but man i love these trains fights i really do we have seen so many lives get taken from the train tonight and it's one of those things you really can't avoid but i know one thing well, after watching fran and icy last night watching them today that train hits one of them they are going to lose their mind okay because <laughs> they were so mad last night during uh those matches versus the vq boys but looks like it's actually going well for rise for the time being they are starting to close that deficit and about to take the lead you see elevate they're gonna completely clear out this hill with 40 seconds left this is a difficult position for rise to be in player two spawned it next a vexies is up top I'm loving the angles in which he has, but who's there to clean up the kills? He'll be able to clean up tidy. Multiple downs coming through. The damage is there for Vexies, but at this point, Taylor, Rise, they're going to be setting up for admin. Rushies goes down, and Vexies did his best to give him as much support as he could. Icy has a snipe in hand, and Rise did not want to lose any of these advantages. Now, they will not have the good spawn for this heal currently. They're going to have to fight for that. Definitely going to have to fight for it. Those spawns make all the difference in the world. For Elevate, man, they're going to have to take it by force. But for Rise, though, great setup overall. Vexies is in here. He's going to be peppering shots, even though he can't see. Oh, whoa, he's taken down as it looks like the nade ended up coming through. Wasn't expecting that. Rushies will also fall. And I said take it by force, and that's exactly what Elevate did. Well done. It took a help of a frag, but you'll take it. In that situation, if you're going to set up early, your opponent has to fight for the good spawn. You cannot give that portion of, of the map uh, up for free. And so I would have loved to see an IC and a Vexies rotate towards the, the spawn and just kind of have that open space, that no man's land, those long sight lines to force their opponent towards the middle and up top of the map for uh, Rise to be able to hold this off a little bit better. But in the end, Elevate, they connected with the nade kills. They've had this Abin Hill locked in for a hot minute. That's going to give you a hot 60 points, all right? Now, mm -hmm. on the flipping of the map, Rise, they're set up for next. 
Actually, yeah, yeah, no, they're not, they're not set up for next just yet. They got player three down low on the tracks. This is going to go towards the west side of the train tracks, this next hill. And we'll see who can get there in time because honestly, Ele even though Rise have been rotating early, Elevate has been winning that first initial fight on the hill to get control. That's right. That is right. And you know what? That was something I was highlighting Rise was doing earlier when they were playing against Pittsburgh Knights and Hive, right? Again, great point. And it, that's just, I think that's just control in general, Blaze. Like, we can all agree on that. The first team to take control of the hill is usually the better, or at least is going to be better off than the other team, right? And we're seeing Elevate take advantage of that time in and time out. Now, in this case, though, Rise will actually be the first ones on the hill. And that's important to note. Now, with the double trains moving in, it's only going to benefit Rise. They're going to continue to gather those points. Elevate can, in good conscience, push up. But the uh, ace in the hole is going to be Demise with the long shot. If he can connect on anyone man that could be huge also like if you can this is a hill in which you want to take your time in a break because if you win the team fight and you succeed you'll get the spawn for next and you can flip the map entirely and from there you can really hold off and get some great setups we're seeing rise do a fantastic job currently holding west tracks and they're gonna win some big fights there um through players that was trying to flank but demise goes big time that ooh, you ooh, gave him a haircut. Him a haircut. <laughs> Yo, right? Uh, the comb over was there, but you know. It... <gasps> He's losing There's... his mind. I said he was gonna lose his mind last night. He was screaming. Ooh, and he just got killed by the train again. That hurts my soul to the core. 18 seconds remain here. Shock is gonna be placed out. And that looks like Elevate is going to take those scrap points and already rotate over too. before the fresh show. And they do get the spawn. At this point in time, with Elevate being this close to 250, that's a win-win. So they get scrap time. They're going to be set up for gallery as well. They will be contesting rise in every single lane. 2v2, 1v1s at the bottom. Snipe in the hand of, uh, of Demise. He gets the down. Another body shot on the Vexies. Plays needs as well. He's like, I got everything. What you want? <laughs> You're not getting this heal unless you get through this uh, assault of, of grenades and, and precision snipes. Woo, that connects with the body. And Vexies, mm. if he lives here, I'd be super impressed. No, he tried. He really did. But eventually taken down. Tough spot for him to be in. And just mere points away for Elevate to take our control tournament and be the victors. And I think Rise knows their time is short. Ice is going to fall. And ladies and gentlemen, 250 to 106. Three to two round count. Elevate are your champions for tonight. But let it be known. Rise kept it interesting till the very end. Yeah, they definitely did, man. Hard fought battle there for Elevate. Um, and, you know, it's, it's hard to go 9-0 for the day, especially on a new game mode and show that much dominance. Rise was the challenge. But in the end, Elevate, the top dogs of NA, take it down. E United, VQ, and Rise Station to be your champions of the night. Well done, man. I, I got to say, they played very, very well. And again, it was fun watching Control, seeing what it kind of brought to the table, brought to the forefront. And for me, it impressed me. I loved it. I still was sitting even watching chat, looking at social media. There's this ton of people that uh, really enjoyed watching it because it's just constant action, but it's a smart game mode, right? It's not something mm -hmm. that you can just blindly start, you know, going out there and blindly making pushes. And it's not... It, one team slays out and wins a good initial and all of a sudden you know they're winning the round by way of domination like it's not the way it works there are levels to the map and there's levels to the strategy blaze and i don't say that the joke around i really don't it's just the best way to put it it really is you got to worry about the respawns uh you got to respawn um location you have to worry about you know obviously your rotations in general when do you mm -hmm, give up mm -hmm. a hill when do you commit to a hill scrap time got to worry about just how are you going to be pushing and engaging where are the power weapons when are they coming back up there's so many elements so it's a smart game and that's what intrigues me about it as a commentator i just love watching the teams and, and watching them think but they do it quickly that's mm -hmm. what makes it so impressive and in this game man sometimes those levels aren't clear cut and how you progress as a unit but for the players who who stick to it, they roll out of spawn consistently. They 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 challenge those one v ones. They find 
the small advantages and even the big advantages in this esport to to be able to put their teams out on top and to become dominant players, man. Because the the, the big time Gears of War players are out there are are, are skillful. They're smart. They uh they they push fights when they need to. They are not scared to make the play for their team. And we just watched eight of these guys compete in this finals, and it was an awesome time to watch overall throughout the day, Taylor. Man, I think it's been an absolute pleasure um, watching Control. I think the extended heals adds a new flavor to just the King mm -hmm. of the Hill um, game mode in general. And you know, this is something that I want to see get tweaked. Uh, everybody out there in the community, you got to put your feedback on this one, right? You got to put Please. your input. Tweet yes. about it on the TL. If you like it, what you like. If you don't, say what you don't. Because at the end of the day, if you do not speak the hell up and let your voice be known, you know, you're going to be rolling out of spine playing Escalation for a check. And, and hey, Escalation is fun. It is. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a good game mode, you right? You know, it took us two titles and a lot of seasons to get it to the point in which it's at. But... Hey, let your voice be known. And that's what it was uh, the big factor at the end of the day. Hey, close mouths, they don't get fed, brother, right? So you make your point known, get out there, and, and play it in general, man. Again, umggaming.com, it's already going on. Let's see if you're the best. This is how the bracket ended up going through. You look at quarterfinals. Every single round went to round five, except EU United versus Elevate. That ended in 3-0. Now for semifinals, another round five, thanks to the good boys of Rise. They kept it interesting and they played well and they showed great composure. For Elevate though versus VQ, again, just like EU United, they fell 3-0. Elevate goes to grand finals, plays against Rise, who then makes it interesting once again with the composure, sends it to a map five of asylum where elevate eventually and ultimately ends up getting the victory but i will say this for elevate for rise they genuinely are the best teams in this tournament without a doubt you may fall on some maps but it's about how you get up and rise hey they fell on a couple but they got up quick and they got up hard and made sure they let that other team know they weren't getting an easy victory like elevate got a little bit earlier